All right, let's check out this pedestrian street and school zone. Take a look at how Tesla's FSD performs. No need to touch the steering wheel at all. Let it control itself. It's completely different from what those car reviewers say. This is the school zone, right? Look at its maneuvering ability. Of course, when there are people around, its safety level is very high. It controls very slowly. I can give it a bit of gas if needed. For example, if it stops there, right? I think the distance is still a bit far, so I can give it a bit of gas. But even if you press hard, it won't move. Even if you press the gas pedal, it won't accelerate like those 0 to 60 in 3 seconds cars. A mature self-driving car should drive like this at a school gate, right? Only by driving very carefully can you avoid traffic accidents. If you're driving in a crowded school zone area, honestly, I wouldn't dare to use that kind of self-driving. Being responsible for your own and others' safety is what makes a truly good self-driving car. So many people are walking around here, right? You never know if someone might suddenly turn back, right? As it slowly moves forward, controlling bit by bit, I feel there's no difference from an experienced driver. Currently, our steering wheel is still in use, right? It hasn't reached the point of fully autonomous driving. The current state is a human-machine co-driving. Reaching this level with human-machine co-driving is already quite impressive. If you were to remove the steering wheel, wouldn't you feel bored sitting here? A good self-driving system mainly gives you a sense of security, ensuring you don't get into accidents with others, right? You can't just drive recklessly in a crowd and expect others to clean your car with their clothes, right? Some people might even try to scam you from a distance. I've seen many short videos before saying that after coming to China, it might not adapt well. Seeing so many people, unlike abroad, where there aren't as many people or electric bikes running around. But look at this. I think it's doing quite well. It hasn't been erratically steering or running around wildly, which would be disastrous, right? Look at how steadily it controls the steering. It's not running around wildly. Right now, it's Saturday afternoon, close to 4 p.m. At this time, there are quite a few cars on the road. We're in the city center, where there are more cars and narrower roads. Look at its ability to maneuver. The way it controls the steering angle and the distance between passing cars is almost identical to a human. Here comes a sudden break because it saw two people crossing the road. They didn't stop to let us pass, so it immediately braked. I think that's quite good. If you forcefully try to go through and that person happens to be crazy and doesn't let you pass, wouldn't that be disastrous? Even if your self-driving seems impressive, you'd end up going to the hospital to pay for someone else's injuries. The red tricycle ahead is swerving and I don't know where it's going. Oh, I can't wait any longer, so I gave it a bit of gas. Now look, there's a Tank 700 ahead. The distance control here is almost perfect. As soon as you press the gas pedal, it moves forward, but the car's system will think about how much to turn the steering wheel and how to avoid obstacles ahead. It's constantly thinking, not just running around wildly. How dare you step on the gas pedal? If you do, it will cause a traffic accident. This precisely shows that Changjiang has the capability, but it has just set the safety level higher. This big truck is blocking the way, right? You see, it is definitely preparing to detour. Look, this big truck is already on our side, and as it passes, you can see in my rearview mirror, the distance it keeps from other cars is really not far, at most just 10 or 20 centimeters. Let's think from another perspective. If the manufacturer lowers the safety level a bit, it might seem like you're driving very fast and impressively. But if you really hit someone, who do you think will pay for it? Isn't it the car owner who will bear the cost? Would you dare to use such a system? Now we have arrived at this pedestrian street, and as expected, there are many cars and people here. Let's see what FSD does. Is it because there's a blockage ahead that it didn't continue? Look, we're now on a pedestrian street, 
engaging in a bit of maneuvering. When driving slowly, we can give it a bit of gas. It's like when your wife just got her driver's license and she's driving in narrow places. She's a bit scared, so you encourage her, right? But her mind is thinking about how to control the steering wheel. If she can reach this level, it's actually quite good. Right? If he doesn't even know how to steer, what's the point of him having a driver's license? This is already the third scenario, and there still hasn't been a safety issue requiring me to take over, right? You've spent quite a bit of time watching this. If we give it a bit of gas, the car in front won't need to avoid it. It only keeps waiting because the safety level is set very high. If the safety level were set a bit lower, it would just squeeze through anyway. I think this shouldn't be difficult. Did you notice that the steering wheel has already turned to the left? Right? It's ready. If the car in front doesn't move, it's prepared to go around from the left but there's an L9 blocking the way. If a human were driving, you'd be stuck there too, right? Isn't that awkward? If the self-driving car gets stuck there, it would cause an even bigger traffic jam behind. So I think its logic is very correct. Sometimes you need to wait, but it knows to push past the obstacle and traffic will flow smoothly, right? It knows exactly how to steer. In this scenario, I feel like my car's system is about to overheat. The Avita car in front is probably thinking, what are you doing, turning on and off like that? Just move. This is what you call a game of strategy, right? But with self-driving, if you come here and do this, the efficiency is slightly lower than human driving. But it's not that it can't drive, right? It has a powerful presence, but it's simply unusable. It can be used, but it gets stuck. It's cautious, not that it lacks the capability. All right, that's all for this video. We've tested it in various urban conditions. This version is definitely reliable and safe to use. In the next video, we'll test the obstacle avoidance features for you.